Hi, I'm Patrick Fulop here at Effective Martial Arts HQ in Pointe Claire, West Island of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And in this lesson, how to bridge. <laughs> All right, so the bridge is another one of those foundational moves that you must know when you begin your martial arts training or self-defense training, especially if you want to know what to do on the ground. This is a move that comes especially in handy once your guard has already been passed and you want to escape a bad position where somebody's actually on top of you. You have to be able to create some distance by elevating your hips in your side. So quick overview first, we want to be able to bring our hips straight up. So that's a straight bridge, tippy toes, close to the hips, straight up. We want to be able to go to the side, like so, either side on one shoulder. And we want to be able to go all the way from the bridge to the turtle position on one side or on the other. And we also want to be able to do it by getting this leg over, knee to the elbow, or by getting this leg under the other one and we're in a turtle position. Another more advanced variation, once you're able to do those, is to do the wrestler's bridge. So here, going from the kneeling position, turtle, putting on one shoulder, basing with the elbow on the other hand, finding your stability upside down, make sure you don't put too much pressure on your neck, and from here, getting your legs hitting the ground first, so your hips remain elevated, from there you can walk on the tippy toes, shoulders, back to original position, being able to move it on the other side. Here, like so. So very important, we wanna start with the basics. So starting lying flat on your back. Typically our feet are gonna be in when we're retaining our guard, but if our guard's already been passed, it makes sense to put our feet on the ground because then we can use them for base and to create space. From here, we wanna be able to elevate the hips really high. Common mistake is just not going high enough. So just like having a little bit of a bend in the waist over here. So you wanna be able to go all the way so your body is actually in an arch position. On the tippy toes will give you more elevation, although it's also possible on the heels, but you'll get more elevation when you do it on the tippy toes. Once you're able to do that, straight bridge, you can even add a little bit of weight on the belly, uh, resistance to the partner to make it more challenging. You can also do it on one leg. Here, so we really work, that's one of our leg conditioning exercises to really work the glutes and the posterior chain of the leg to get nice and strong in this movement. Next, when you're able to do that, you wanna be able to go from side to side. So bridging to one side, both feet remain on the mat, hips go super high and I go on one shoulder, head is not on the mat, elbows remain tight in a sound defensive position. I'll go to the other side, same thing, here. <sighs> Breathing out, as you do, you can do that for reps. <sighs> Once you're able to do that, you're gonna go and find your stability on the shoulder and the foot. So be able to do your bridge, find your stability here. I like to bring this elbow under so that you're able to base on this elbow and this hand will assist as well for base. From there, hips remain super high and we're gonna bring this leg, now it's not touching the ground anymore, you're gonna bring it over, pivot so that your hips, belly is facing up, you go belly facing down so now your bum is facing up, adjust the other foot as necessary for base, and you're gonna try to connect your knee to your elbow. If you're able to do that and be comfortable in this position, it's gonna come in handy in many situations. So here, and then from there, being able to go the other way around. So go from the knee, and then bring the knee, the foot, back to the ground while maintaining the hip elevation, and then you drop. Common mistake with beginners is you go here, and you go here, and then they just kind of fall to their hip and come back, it's not wrong, there's, there's times you wanna do that, but for the purpose of this drill, to develop the bridge position and stability, keeping the hips high is gonna be really important. So we're gonna go to the side here, reach for the ground, base with the inside elbow, foot leaves the ground, we're on our toes, this knee is not touching the ground, very important, we wanna base on our toes in most instances. Knee to the elbow, stable, and from there we can go to turtle, or we can bring it back, do it in reverse, Hips remain high, reach from the ground, and go to the other side. Here, same thing on the other side. Reach, base of the elbow, base of the head, foot leaves the ground, so I'm on this foot, this elbow, and this shoulder, with the head assist on the other side. Reach around, knee touches the elbow, I'm basing, adjusting with the inside foot, so I'm nice and stable, and then either to turtle, or from this position, reach back around, Toes to the ground, hips remain high, and I go back down. And again, here, and here. And then when you're able to do that, you wanna be able to do it explosively as well. So shooting your hips to the side in one motion, it's not a common mistake as well, it's not up 
and then turn, and then go to the side. It's one fluid movement in that direction because that's gonna have the most benefit in a real situation for you. So we're gonna shoot our hips to the side and pursue our movement. And we're gonna try to do it fast. So here, and roll back, the other side. Here. Again, breathe out. And go back. And you can even come back with the same technique, keeping the hips high. Go fast, go fast. More advanced variation, if you're finding that easy, is to do the wrestler's bridge variation. So, very important technique that's gonna come in handy in many grappling and wrestling situations, learning to keep the hips elevated to keep the shoulder pressure. So starting on our knees like so, going to one shoulder here, and then instead of just rolling like we could, and that's usually what people do when they start, a uh, common mistake, you wanna go here on the shoulder, same as before, basing on the inside elbow and the outside hand, and then we wanna find our stability upside down. So here, feet are in the air, and our hands basing with the elbow, basing with the other hand. From here, I wanna bring my toes to the mat without dropping my hips. So start arching my body here, and reach for the ground, line up toes, hips remain high. Another useful uh, transition from there that'll practice our pressure with the shoulder is to walk back around, like the Homer Simpson walk here. Stay on the toes and shoulder only, back to the kneeling position here. And then the other side, shoulder, elbow, hand, elevate. Find the stability, arch, reach for the ground. Keep the hips high, do not let them touch the ground. From there, stay on the shoulder, walk back around. Like the turtle, and kneeling, and faster. Boom. Here, and here. The less noise you make, the better. So you're able to absorb the impact of the ground, and really work with agility. So there you have it guys, the bridge with a couple of the main variations. So you really wanna take the time to perfect this technique, understand it, be able to execute it well if you're beginning your martial arts uh, training and journey. And if you're an instructor, a coach or teacher, you really wanna take the time to show this technique to your students, make sure to get it right before you move on to more complex techniques. You will see that it will facilitate their progress uh, a lot, a lot easier because they're now able to move their body correctly and then they don't need to think about that while they're trying to apply different techniques that you wanna show them. So foundational technique, take the time to practice it. And um, really the, the benefit of this is that we've, te we've taught so many people this technique over the past couple of years uh, that we've noticed what are the main uh, common mistakes. So as we said in the videos, keep the hips high, base on the toes, make sure that you keep that arch in the body, uh, boasting on the shoulder and the toes only, knees stay off the mat. Those are all the stuff that we see in class all the time. So if you are attentive to that, and if you're a teacher, again, don't let your students get away with that, okay? If you're an instructor, Make sure you observe them closely and you give them the feedback while they're executing it so that they're able to do it slowly at first. That's a general rule for all techniques. They should be able to do the techniques slowly first, correctly, and then accelerate as long as they can keep it correctly executed. So you wanna go as fast as you can do it well. That's a general rule for martial arts techniques. Go as fast as you can do it well. So that means at the beginning, you're gonna be going pretty slow, most likely. Unless some people are very athletic, they're able to do it, then you give them more of a challenge. You start doing some applications with a partner, you start repping it out for speed. So there are many things you can do to make it more challenging for talented students. So either way, I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Please uh, leave uh, questions or comments below if you have any. Uh, click like if you've enjoyed, share if you think other people can benefit from these, this information. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you are subscribed already, thank you very much for your trust. We're really working hard to develop good content for you guys moving forward to keep on helping our students of all levels, and I include you guys, uh, improve faster through innovation. That's really what Effective Martial Arts is all about. One structured curriculum for striking, wrestling, and grappling to help students, hopefully around the world, really acquire positive martial arts skills, grow their confidence, get in great shape, and have tons of fun doing it. So, till next time, I'm Patrick Phillip. This is Effective Martial Arts. Thank you very much for watching. Practice well.